Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are back with another switch mode power supply. We did a couple videos on boost converters and today we're going to do one on the buck converter. So let me draw our buck converter here. And then we'll talk about the configuration of it. Okay, so here is our basic buck converter circuit. We have our current source here, a switch, a reverse biased diode, our inductor, our storage anti slash anti ripple smoothing capacitor, and our load. So in this case, we're giving it 12 volts at a half an amp. This is a 1N4007 diode. This is a 220 micro Henry. This is a 68 microfarad 400 volt. And this is a 100K load. So there is our basic buck converter. And it operates in two states. In <clears throat> the first state, with the switch closed, the current flows from our source through the inductor, which opposes uh, changes in current. Some through the capacitor and some through the load. With the switch open, the inductor becomes the current source and the current flows in this direction and by simply switching it on and off we have a combination of the voltage drop of the diode and the um, opposition of the inductor giving us a net drop in voltage and a net increase in current at the output. So here is our setup. Once again, we're using <clears throat> the 555 timer to drive our switch, which in this case is the IFZ34N MOSFET. It's getting 12 volts. The 555 timer is outputting a square wave to the gate. The drain is connected directly to our current source. And the source is connected to the inductor. This is our 220 microhenry inductor, 68 picofarad capacitor, 100K load, and our reverse biased diode. Now, this resistor here is simply <clears throat> a pull-down resistor for the gate of the MOSFET. So, let's bring in the meter. Let me zoom out here a little bit. That would be in. That would be out. Okay. And we'll power it up. As you can see, we're bringing in, <laughs> pardon me, my adapter just fell out of the socket. As you can see, we're bringing in 12 volts. And, <clears throat> Again, by adjusting 
the duty cycle of the timer, we can adjust our voltage drop. Now right here at this bottom end, it gets really touchy and that's just a feature of the resolution of that potentiometer. So there we have it, a nice buck converter. Let's uh, take a look at the output on the scope so you can have a look at the waveforms. Hang on for one second. All right. So we are looking now at the waveforms. The yellow is the output of the 555 timer and the green is the input to the inductor. So if we stop this here and overlay these waveforms, you can see that they pretty much track exactly. And as we adjust our duty cycle, you can also see how the waveforms pretty much track each other exactly. And we are switching here at a frequency of about 950 kilohertz. If we adjust just a little bit here, we can kick that up to 1.2 megahertz. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And once again, forgive me for uh, uh, being a little bit under the weather again. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time.